Yeah, welcome back. I'm Shada Kurt. Um, yeah, I have the pleasure to moderate this conference. Um, and now we will continue with the first performance of the day. I already mentioned that, I already mentioned yesterday and today at the beginning that there is a wide range of yeah, discursive, uh, discursive and artistic approaches to the topics and questions we're discussing um, during this conference. And yeah, I don't want to say too much about the following performance because we have Lucia and Joanna here who will give an introduction, I think. Um, I will just briefly, uh, shortly introduce you two um, for those who yeah, didn't follow our opening panel uh, yesterday. So um, Joanna Varon is a feminist researcher and activist focused on bringing decol uh, decolonial Latin American perspectives in the search of feminist techno-political frameworks, um, as well as Lucia Igania, who works in writing, research, teaching, and audiovisual production. They curated together this performance and will also moderate and introduce the performers. And just for your information, there will be, there won't be a, um, a translation into, into German spoken language. Uh, to d for this performance, but you have all, I think, this, this booklets with a translation into English of the text, the, yeah, the, base, uh, the performance is based on, and the translated text will also be available uh, on the bottom of the stream, right? So, yeah, just look for them. So, yeah, now I'm very happy to welcome you two on stage and very much looking forward to the performance. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hoy, hola a todas, a todes, a todos. Hola. <laughs> So we are, we are very happy to be here because this will be like finally a, an opportunity for us to put together and all together an idea uh, into place. So I want to thank you. We want to thank you Camp Nago for the organization, also Lena, Dana, Caro, all the production team, the curators. Khadija, who just put up and moderated that amazing panel just uh, before this, and Lorena and Grayson, and you have more thank you. <laughs> yes, I want to thank also all the technicians, the streamer, the translators, uh, and all the people working in the communications, um, as well all the people involved in, in, in to keep this place clean and comfortable for all. Um, thank you to all the people who are here and all the people who are connected online. Uh, welcome to this, the first session of Lost in Translation 1, Extractivism of Bodies and Territories. Um, for this session, we, we will propose something a little bit different instead of a panel or a round table, we will have performances departing from some texts, uh, specially written for this event uh, uh, by some thinkers and activists based in, based in Avia Yala, Latin America, about the violence and the impacts of the production and uses of hegemonic technologies um, worldwide have in their territories. So we, we did this because we believe that, uh, and we did by this I mean inviting all those thinkers from Latin America to produce those texts and also the artists and performers also from Latin America because we think and we believe that uh, to reach an holistic and overarch overarching critical thinking about technology uh, and about the future of code politics and about the future of technologies. Uh, we need knowledge that is situated in specific territories, but due to historical structures of domination, 
um, that pertain editorial circles, academic circles. A lot of this knowledge don't reach international audiences and in debates. Part of this knowledge shouldn't because it's sacred and it should remain, but other parts need to be there for a complex and critical perspective. Um, so today, the performers and mus musicians, Eli Wewentru, Genesis Victoria, Kupalua, Angela Kim, uh, will do a free interpretation of the words of Moira Millán, Paz Peña, Maria Rafaela Silva, and Paola Ricaurte. Uh, for those who are here, as Seida said, uh, you have this booklet with all the text that translation, translated to English. Um, if not, you can get somebody more. doesn't have Lena. Um, for who are attending online, there are the, the same text that texts in PDF in the website of Camp Nagel and in the description of the video. Yep. So, and those texts talk about um, the fact that there are material and socio-economical costs to promote welfare, to promote high-tech, to promote even what some call sustainability in uh, countries from the global north. And it's very likely that these costs are being paid in countries situated in other territories, t territories uh, pertained by an history of colonial dispossession. So the essay is developed by the authors for this session address the consequences of exploiting certain bodies, certain territories for tech development, and also they show how some technologies of control are being used to oppress their struggles. And for, for this, for bringing those tasks to you, our relation with translation is complex and ambivalent as well. Uh, because languages uh, can be seen also as an expression of power. So in this place, we would like to propose an exercise of translation that's more connected to the body. The translation will be through interpretation of the invited artists. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, so... Um, the, the work of most of these authors uh, was never translated to German before. And some few have been translated to English, and probably uh, it's likely gonna be the first time that their text ha uh, will be translated to music or to other formats. And we will start with a text of uh, Moira Millán. Moira Millán uh, is, <laughs> we need the, the, the slide. Moira Millán is a Mapuche activist living in Puel Willy Mapu in the territory so-called Argentina. She struggled for land, dignity, and the rights of her people and communities. Um, and she is part of the Movimiento de Mujeres Indígenas por el Buen Vivir, which represents 36 native nations, and we invite you all to follow her work. Her text, Cuerpo, Territorio, Tecnología y Buen Vivir, will be interpreted by Eli Wewentru. Um, they is a non-binary Mapuche artist, born and based in Walmapu. Eli explores through violin themes of identity, decolonial social resistance, and seeks new ways of creating music with, with and from the body, focusing on a critic of the hegemonic elitist image of Western violin technique. Eli is part of the Mapuche collective Magun in Berlin. So welcome, Eli. Um,
Cuerpo, territorio, tecnología y buen vivir. El hierro lastima mucho la tierra, como si la cortara profunda. Entonces, al poner la semilla, queda más resguardada. Pero la tierra queda más lastimada. Con el tiempo se seca y muere de tantas cortaduras. Yo aro desde siempre con arado de palo. Se me ríe mi gente. Pero la tierra no se ha secado. Siempre fértil, siempre sana queda. I don't hurt the head a lot, as if they were cutting it deep. So when the seed is placed, it is more protected, but the hair is more damaged. With the time dries up and dies from so many cuts, I have been always plowed with my wooden plowed. My people laughed at me, but the land has not dried up. It is always fertile, always healthy. Es por ello que decimos como mapuche, 
A través de mí habla la montaña, los bosques, los cerros, los ríos y los lagos. Habla la tierra, nuestro idioma se llama Mapuzungún, él habla de la tierra. Sin territorio no hay identidad, ni cultura, ni espiritualidad. Somos una unidad invisible. Todo cuanto le pasa al territorio repercute no solo en nuestra corporalidad, sino también en nuestra espiritualidad. That is why we as a Mapuche say, through me the mountain speak, the forest speak, the hills, the rivers and lakes, the land speaks. Our language is called Mapuzungun, the speech of the land. Without territory, there is no identity, not culture, no spirituality. We form an invisible whole. Everything that happens to the territory affects not only our corporality, but also our spirituality.
La racialidad de la geopolítica del capital determina los territorios cuya vida no son valoradas y los convierte en territorios sacrificables, las vidas que no importan. The reality of the geopolitics of capital determines the territory where lives are not valued and turns them into expendable territories, the lives that do not matter. La libre determinación de nuestros cuerpos solo podrá ser posible con la libre determinación de los pueblos y los territorios. No más terricidio. The self-determination of our bodies can only be possible with the self-determination of people and territories. Stop against land side. Thank you. 
Hola. Uh, the next text is uh, from Paz Peña. She is an activist working in the intersection between digital technologies, feminism, and social justice. She is the co-creator of different instances of reflection and action, such as the Latin American Institute of Terraforming, a space for understanding the varied relationships between digital technology and the climate crisis. Her text, Hágale señas al dron, Vigilancia sobre los cuerpos del sur, will be performed by Genesis Victoria. Genesis is a non-binary Latinx artist and researcher born in Santiago de Chile and based in Berlin. Their artwork involves sound art and performance art as an interdisciplinary practice. In their performances, listening became a primary instance of connection between inhabiting through, different, through diverse mediums They explore space acoustics and sound sensitivity, inquiring issues related to identity, virtuality, technologies, and temporary embodiments. So, Genesis.
We sabotage the sky. Sabotamos el cielo. We sabotage the sky to protect ourselves. We sabotage the sky as self-defense. We sabotage the sky to protect our land and territory. To think about possibilities we perform our own science fiction to repair imaginary, to repair memories, and to imagine possible futures. It was night. We were patrolling the land, monitoring the recovered area. Suddenly we heard the birds. They were desperate, flying off from something, as if from a terrible threat. We stopped to listen to them, interpreting their singing to find out what was going on with them. And it was caught our attention. We realized that it was not because it was going to rain, nor other natural phenomenon, but because something in the air scared them. We approached and we heard the soft and almost imperceptible buzz, buzz about us. 
It could be, it could be seen. It was almost dark. It was a whining moon. We thought it were a strange exotic bird, and we had a laugh. But no, the movement and the sound were too mechanical. It flew about us in a straight line from one point to another, drawing the shape of a triangle over and over again. It did not stop and always kept the same speed and pulse. We spent a long time listening with care. And the time it flew over the same point. And if, the, if it were programmed and model exact, made exactly the same robotic bus, and it didn't change at all. There, we learned that it was a drone, a drone in the sky. We move away and the device follow us. We walk through an open field and about, and us, about us, the drone was flying over us without us being able to see it. But its subtle bus could be here. We sabotage the sky to imagine possible futures. We sabotage the sky to repair imaginary. We sabotage the sky as self-defense for us to imagine possible futures. This was Genesis Victoria interpreting Agalesina Saldron, Signal the Drone, Surveillance of Bodies from the South by Paz Peña. Thanks, Genesis. <laughs> now, coming next is a, uh, an essay by Maria Rafaela uh, Silva. She's a trans rights activist and professor at the Department of History and Theory of Art at Universidade Federal do Rio de Janeiro, where she researches digital media, gender violence, and processes of subjectivation. She's also officer of the Program for Political Participation at the Race and Equality Institute in Brazil, and a volunteer at the Observatory of LGBT Violence in the Favelas of Rio. Her essay is entitled Em Nome de uma Ética Periférica, Gênero e Esmartocracia no Brasil Contemporâneo, or in English, For an Ethics from the Peripheries, Gender and Esmartocracy in Contemporary Brazil. Who is going to interpret that? is our amazing Yela King. She's a sociologist and rapper from the territory so-called Colombia. Resistimos a la Guerra is her first, first album. Her political artistic commitment makes visible the defense of joy, the colonial discourses, lesbofeminism, fat, fat activism, and the struggle for free abortion. Yela, up to you. En nombre de una ética periférica. Género y esmartocracia en el Brasil contemporáneo es el texto que interpretaré de la maravillosa mujer trans, negra, académica, activista, María Rafaela Silva.
Silencio Borrado Resistencia digital Vamos que vamos, vamos que vamos. Es tecnología para matar, criminalizar, anular Ataques, manipulación digital, vigilancia policial Drones, tecnología para matar, criminalizar, anular Ataques, manipulación digital, vigilancia policial En Brasil, en las favelas, siempre vigilante Los drones andantes, la policía asesinando Aniquilando, controlando, marcando la brecha social Dejando a todas en desigualdad en Colombia Paramilitares llevan las tecnologías a otros lugares Donde no llega el estado, donde no llega la magia Y vigilan así con el wifi para asesinar a los líderes sociales de las comunidades Poco a poco van así, jodiendo en El Salvador criminaliza mujeres por abortar Y como saben, por la huella digital, por las conversiones en Whatsapp y Facebook Sur Global, Abyayala y la diáspora africana En desigualdad trans, racializados, empobrecidos Con la ilusión de ingresar al mercado del amor Hegemonía es la falsa inclusión de las redes, datos para perfilar, para exponer, para controlar el deseo y poner en riesgo Genocidio de Estado para militares que persiguen las cuerpos más vulnerables El pueblo no se rinde carajo, que no se rinde carajo El pueblo no se rinde carajo, que no se rinde carajo Nos han engañado con la mejora, la calidad de vida Con el beneficio y la igualdad Supuestamente en las redes y aplicaciones Para amar con algoritmos limitantes Para que se mantengas en tu lugar Y no se mezclen las clases sociales Seguridad democrática, dicen, supuesta lucha contra el crimen y las drogas convertidos en delitos de pobreza, proyecto de antiseguridad. Seguridad para quién, para quién es, seguridad para quién, para quién es. No es para todas, no es para todos, no es para todos. Seguridad para el norte global, antiseguridad para el sur global y la resistencia social. Antiseguridad, el pueblo no se rinde carajo, que no se rinde carajo, el pueblo no se rinde carajo, que no se rinde carajo, pueblo no se rinde carajo, que no se rinde carajo, el pueblo no se rinde carajo, que no se rinde carajo, y la lucha sigue. La lucha sigue y se combate en la calle y en las redes sociales, resistiendo al algoritmo 
y a las restricciones hasta que la dignidad se haga costumbre. Feminismo llegó para quedarse y resistir. Hat feminismo llegó para quedarse y resistir. Resistir no es aguantar. Resistir no es aguantar. Resistir no es aguantar. Resistir no es aguantar. Manipulación, vigilancia, fronterización digital. Ciudades inteligentes para mantener las restricciones. Hiperproductivizar los cuerpos más empobrecidos. Tecnología, seguridad, productividad, muerte y explotación. Falso progreso. Progreso funcional para quien tiene el privilegio, para los blancos y géneros heterosexuales y de clases acomodadas. Los derechos digitales no solo se trata de privacidad, se trata de autonomía, de neutralidad, sin algoritmos sesgados de manipulación al deseo, al consumo. Todo un imaginario de lo perfecto. Dando la apariencia de que todos estamos accediendo desde el mismo criterio. El pueblo no se rinde carajo, que no se rinde carajo. El pueblo no se rinde carajo, que no se rinde carajo. Nada más falso que creer en la inclusión y la democratización tecnológica. Puntajes humanos digitales definen la continuidad en la pobreza, en la oferta de crédito, sin derechos laborales, en acceso a los bienes de consumo. Reconocimiento facial para acabar con lo que incomoda. Smart, Smart, yo sé que tú me quieres matar. Smart, Smart, yo sé que me quieres controlar. Smart, Smart, yo sé que me quieres matar. Las tecnologías no son neutrales. La historia y las dinámicas sociales les convierten en parte de una tecnopolítica parcializada. Patrones de sospecha, tecnologías que definen visibilidades sospechosas, elementos que terminan en violencia. Kimbala, Kimbara, Kimba, Kimbala, Kimbara, Kimba, Kimbala, Kimbara, Kimba, Kimbala, Kimbara, Kimba, Kimbala, Kimbara. Pero en los territorios también están hack feminists, personas creando otros mundos posibles, otras posibilidades, otras sensaciones. Tinder, Badu, Grinder, presentando riesgos particulares. Para los cuerpos negros LGBT, especialmente los cuerpos trans. Palizas, humillaciones públicas, transfobia recreativa, sensacionalización de la violencia policial, que a veces es denuncia y a veces es miedo. Es terror, es caché público, es posición, es vulnerabilidad, muerte pública, social, política. Son enormes laboratorios, es martocracia.
sí, sí, sí. Drones, tecnología para matar, criminalizar, anular. Ataques, manipulación digital, vigilancia policial. Drones, tecnología para matar, criminalizar, anular. Ataques, manipulación digital, tecnología para matar. Las martocracias, por lo tanto, un acoplamiento de la tecnopolítica a la misma idea de democracia, ideales de raza, género, clase, territorio y sexualidad, autoridad moderna que manipula y restringe, moldea la cultura, manteniendo ideales colonialistas en el poder. hablar de democracia participativa sin tener en cuenta la tecnología se requiere una agenda antirracista antitransfóbica anticonmomerativa teniendo en cuenta las múltiples interseccionalidades las dinámicas sociales Tecnologías para una población diversa, para gente distinta, para gente que se respeta y se aprecia, libres de borrado y aniquilación. Una ética periférica capaz de hackear los engranajes del poder. Cuidado radical, no puede ser cuidado individual Cuidado radical, es el cuidado para la comunidad Es pensar que en el sur global debemos estar en comunidad Porque al no tener privilegios ya, solo avanzas si estás en colectividad Solo puede existir en la unidad la barricada, el pueblo no se rinde, ni en el territorio, ni en las redes sociales, ni en el internet. Muchas gracias. This was Yela King. Interpreting Maria Rafaela Silva. E aí, mana, Maria, conectou. The text was for the netics from the peripheries, gender and smartocracy in contemporary Brazil. And now in Colombia as well. So next is going to be uh, a text. A text from Paula Ricaute. She's an Associate professor, professor in the de Department of Media and Digital Culture at Tecnológico de Monterrey in Mexico City. And she's also a digital rights activist. Her work focuses on the critical study of digital technologies. Her latest publications include Data Epistemologies, The Coloniality of Power and Resistance and also youth and digital culture, critical approaches from Latin America, among many, many, many others. The text that's going to be interpreted here, it's called La Razón Extractiva, the extractivist logic, and it's going to be interpreted by Kupalua. She's an artist from Brazil, living in Denmark, that problematizes female behavior expectations and the institutionalization of human relations. Her sounds coming from the most interior places, such as the cervix, or from the deepest spot in the ocean. Kupalua is a physical experience. Welcome, Kupalua. Hola. Oi. Hello, hello. 
Um, today I'm gonna read for you. Extraer. Sacar, poner algo fuera de donde estaba. Remove or take out, especially by effort or force. Obtain a substance or resource from something by a special method. Extract. Extraer. Extraer. To remove by pulling it out or cutting it out. To get information from someone who does not want to give it. To choose and take out parts of a written work for a separate use. To choose and take out parts of a written work for a separate use. La historia de Avillala es una historia de creación y resistencia. Nos ofrece una perspectiva también sobre la relación que los habitantes del territorio tenían con la tierra. The history of Avillala is a history of creation and resistance. The ancient history also offers us a perspective of the relationship that the inhabitants of the territory had with technology. The extractive reason, a razón extractiva. Schöpfung und Widerstand. La razón extractiva. Uma perspectiva também sobre a relação que os habitantes do território tinham com a tecnologia. Perfect mit den Rhythmus der Natur in Einklang zu bringen. This possession as an active principle of the relationship between beings is an expression of the multidimension of violence that these systems promote as a rule zwischen Ureinwohnern und Kolonisatoren entstanden. Neoliberal. El despojo. Enteignung. Despossession. Espoliación. Despojo. Como principio de la relación. Despojo. En este texto quisiera traer una historia para vincularla con nuestras actuales relaciones con la tecnología basadas en la política del despojo. Es una expresión de la multidimensión de la violencia que los sistemas promueven como una regla. Es la historia de la lucha por la existencia y el sostenimiento de la vida. La mantenimiento de la vida. It is the story of the struggle for existence and maintenance of life. Die Politik des Plünderns. Extract in its La Politica del Saqueo. Meaning. Since then until today, the communities that inhabit the Bari territory of Abiala continue to resist and create alternative paths to defend their rights to the future in the face of multiple violence perpetrated by the state and corporation. It is the story of the struggle for existence and maintenance of life. Sometimes the logic that mediates relationships by ignoring the interdependent relationships that allow our existence other beings and the environment. There is Demarcação. a demarcation of responsibility, responsibility for the effects of our actions Afetos. and affection. Ações. Afetaciones. A disaffection is leading us to a crisis in civilization. 
no está conduciendo a una crisis civilizatoria. Civilizatorische Krise. Ein Flüsse wir in Freundinnen ist. Classifying non-whites as non-humans. Así, su vidas, sus cuerpos, se convirtieron en desechables. Ein Flüsse wir entfremden uns. Disposable. Descartables. Likewise, it meant play. Descartables. Corpus descartables. Although it is true that extractivism has always existed since the different empires have always extracted resources from the conquered territories at the, presence, um, at the present time, this extractivist process has expanded on a planetary scale through mechanisms of greater sophistication and contemplation, deeper spheres of existence. Sobre los cuerpos y territorios colonizados, contribuyó a legitimar una política de despojo, desposesión, Verfügung. despojo, the disposition of bodies, territories, in both its material and immaterial sense. The, the disposition of body, territories, in both its material and immaterial sense. Of continuing life. Unmöglichkeit der Kontinuität des Lebens. The most intimate, like the facts on the body, the mind, the emotions, the affections, to the extraction of resources, the occupation of territories, and the displacement of communities under geopolitical forces. The dispossession of bodies, territories, in both its material... Then it extends to the level of the territory that we occupy as a community, to stripe it of common goods, water, air, river, trees, whatever is in the subsoil, in other words, words, we need to contemplate the transversality of extractive processes. Classificar las personas no blancas como no humanas o subhumanas, seres inferiores. Así, sus cuerpos, sus vidas, se convirtieron en desechables. En el marco de las fuerzas geopolíticas, podemos decir que existen distintas esferas extractivistas que implican un despojo del cuerpo, especialmente de ciertos cuerpos racializados, de mujeres y disidencias, personas pre precarizadas, migrantes, entre otras personas vulnerabilizadas por los sistemas de violencia y de la subjetividad en un nivel más próximo, íntimo y cercano. El territorio, donde se construye el sentido de lo común. El territorio es un arreglo de redes relacionales y en cuanto a tal, una tecnología política, un espacio de continuidad entre los cuerpos y, sus, y su lugar habitado. With its cables, its networks, its signals, and devices that enable our interaction, which allow us to share the meaning of 
todo es digerido por la máquina extractiva. Existir fuera del despojo, de la subordinación, de la voluntad, de la colonialidad del consciente, parece imposible. Impossible. Imposible. En los procesos extractivos expandidos digitalmente, las formas de violencia materiales y inmateriales se entrelazan. Puesto que el despojo en Bulaca, el cuerpo como lugar de lo social, como objeto de las relaciones de poder, se raíza en un territorio tierra con el suelo, el subsuelo, el aire, las montañas, los ríos, ríos mares y especies, especies, y en el territorio internet, con sus cables, sus torres, sus redes, sus señales, dispositivos que habitan nuestra interacciones. Of racialized people, women, and dissidents. cómo se encuentran articulados los procesos de despojo y cómo se expresan las múltiples formas de resistencia que planteo opciones ético-políticas, sensibilidades, prácticas, imaginarios contrahegemónicos. La captura de lo social mediada algorítmicamente involucra la emergencia de Estado tales alterados la vida articulación de las fuerzas las organizaciones colectivas las borraduras epistémicas y por último la asfixia social la lógica extractivista de la era digital requiere de nuestra cooperación para que seamos privados de nuestra privacidad nuestra autonomía nuestra soberanía nuestra experiencia nuestro conocimiento además de nuestros recursos naturales. Y no invisibilizar las luchas de las personas defensoras de la tierra, de los pueblos indígenas, las mujeres, las diversidades sexogenéricas, las trabajadoras precarizadas que buscan defender el derecho a una vida digna y que no permiten imaginar otros futuros posibles libres de la violencia tecnológicos. make ourselves co-responsible for the effects and not make invisible the struggle of the land, defenders, indigenous people, women, gender, sex diverse identities, and precarious workers who seek to defend the right to a dignified life and who allow us to imagine other possible futures free of violence, technological futures. Die Digitalisierung und Ausweitung der extraktiven Sphäre. Okay. Vamos todos a volver. Sí. Well, I think we have some. 15, 10 minutes or something. 15 or 10. 13 minutes. 13. Uh, if somebody wants to comment or ask or, or I don't know, say something. <laughs> <laughs> Um, 
So yeah, questions, comments. This is like a few minutes for a little conversation right. if you want. Anyone want to say something? Don't be shy. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so we can wrap it. Yeah. Thank well, you. Thank you. <laughs>time just for one question so this very central uh, term of extractivism which you used in your introduction and which is also very like central in the in the thoughts of the writers so maybe you could just could you just for the audience who are not maybe used to this word or is this now too complicated we can also do it tomorrow so or if you want to explain in a few sentences, what, what it does mean in this context. So. Sure. Yeah, the, thank you. Come here. Then. The, the, the texts are available in the booklet that you got from the beginning, and they're also online in the original languages in which do they were written, also in German, and and in English, and Paola Ricarte exactly uh, talks, uh, structures her text, which is about the extractivist logic, and she starts with the definition. Um, to extract, it starts with the definition in Spanish, and then it comes in, in different dictionaries, like Oxford Dictionary, Britannica Dictionary. And to extract is to obtain something, such as money or an admission from someone in the face of initial unwillingness. So it's, it has this shape of uh, act of violence, because no, no one wants the extraction to happen. But you can check the text and the whole article that uh, Kupalua was interpreting yeah. is exactly on extractivism okay. and the definition. Thank you so much. Yeah, I uh, so definitely do uh, check the text on the website of Kamp Nagel and also in the description of the YouTube stream. Thank you so much, Lucia and Juana. And also, yeah, a big, big... Round of applause for you. And also, thank you so much, the performers. I don't know if you want to thank your performers again, or should I? <laughs> um, yeah, thank. I yeah. just want to invite you all yeah. for the part two that will yes. happen tomorrow. Definitely. That's going to be very different from today. And we are going to be talking about uh, the colonizing imaginations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. About yeah, and thank you again to... Kupalua, Genesis Victoria, Eli Vevenshu and Yela Krim. Um, <laughs> and today's um, yeah, first day of the conference will conclude with the panel Documenting Care, Archiving Disability Pasts and Futures. And it will get to the bottom of the question, how might we foster remembering disabled experiences of care for future generations? I'm very much looking forward to it. We continue at 6 p.m. And your second part of the performance today will also be at the same time as today, no, right? No, and tomorrow after. at 1 at one o'clock tomorrow. Sorry? After, uh, the, the second sec yes. session of Lost Inter. Just Naya's talk. And we want to say if somebody is interested in Yela's work yeah. she's uh, she have this 
Falls CD. Um, I have a personal project in the music, but a collective project too. Uh, the name is Lyricas del Caos. Uh, with Lyricas del Caos, we do an album. Uh, their name is Lesbica. It's dancehall, reggaeton, and rap. Uh, lesbian, bisexual, pansexual, you know. Uh, it's a box as a CD, but no, it's a CD. It's a USB, mm. you know. And if you, if you want to uh, help, um, support the art, <laughs> uh, it's uh, 10. 10 with me, I have for all you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, about. I got mine already yesterday, so yeah, I hi highly recommend it. So yeah, see you later for the last panel of the day.